So in today's video, we'll be taking apart the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller as I need to clean it. So let's get into it. All right, before we open this guy up, so uh, some drink got spilled into this. I don't remember if it was coffee or tea or something like that, but it got spilled in there. It's got it's been sitting for a little bit with it, and I'm hoping just to open it up, maybe give it a little, little bit of a clean and see if it still works. I think it still does. I just haven't turned it on in hopes that everything dries out and maybe doesn't cause any issues. I wanna go in there and clean it, and I'll probably go in about a month from now and clean it again just to make sure. So I'm gonna clean out the shell and some of the boards with some isopropyl alcohol, which you probably won't see in the video because it's just you know normal scrubbing. But we're gonna take it apart, put it back together, and do some cleaning over a few times to make sure this guy works and will continue working. So let's go ahead and switch the camera angles and Start opening it up. All right, so I got the controller and my iFixit kit. I don't think it takes too many different types of screws, so we'll find out as we go, but go ahead and open this guy up and get all the tools ready. So the first ones I know are down here, which are Phillips heads, which are located at the base of each of the little, whatever these handles are called. Um, and so they need a Phillips head. So let's go ahead and try to find one that works. All right, I feel that coming off. So those will probably just slide right off now. So we'll set those to the side with the screw next to it. So I just remember that those go with that. This one's not as willing to come off. That took a little bit more. Probably needs to be cleaned a little bit. Yeah, it does. Got a little bit of, I think coffee is what was spilled in this, so got that. And so now there are screws here, 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 and here. And so we just gotta take those off as well. And they seem to be the same Phillips head that I used for the outside ones. And they may change once we get inside, but we will find out. I believe the back here is supposed to come off. I'm not sure if it like snaps off or another way. It looks like what I just took off, it connects the back. So let's go ahead and use one of these wonderful pick to like devices. And yeah, it's coming apart. Didn't even take very much force at all to just separate the what's currently there. There you go. So there's that. Kind of dirty. Set that to the side. We'll put those that next to those. Take the battery out. Make sure I'll clean up all of the little traces here. All right. So it looks like there's one, two, three four and five, two, these two are kind of hidden right here. And those should take off the front plate. Let's go ahead and take those off. So with this one, I had to angle a little bit more. I'll try to show that a little bit better. It is doable with even with like an iFixit kit or anything like that. You just have to go at an angle rather than straight through. And let's see if I can get this other one. If not, I have to find a way of getting a screwdriver in there. And let's go ahead and take this one out first. And then we got this one and we can try to get the last one again. All right, I'm able to get it slightly, but I don't know if it's gonna come out correctly. There you go. So I got those off. Now the front panel or front guy here should just pop off, I believe, unless I missed a screw. Doesn't look like I did. There you go. Yeah, it's a little messy in here with the things, but let's go ahead and I need to use this guy to pull that guy up and take that out. Set that aside. And there's the inside right there, as well as the inside of here. And I'm going to go ahead and... I don't think I'm gonna take the board out 
I do need to do some cleaning on some of this as, again, something was spilled in it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this and I'll be right back. All right, so I did what I could with cleaning it all off. I'll have to come back through it a few times and maybe clean up underneath some of these boards as well, but I'm not gonna do that in this video uh, as these boards can be taken out, but it's a lot more work and a lot more to put together and take apart as well as the, there's a board here that can be taken out as well. So I think it's good enough to start using again and not worry about anything going wrong. So let's go ahead and put the thumbsticks back on. I just recently cleaned them off a little bit. So I don't think it matters which one goes where as long as you get both of them. All right, so the thumbsticks are back on and now it's going to be the front panel needs to be put back on, but I do need to put this connector here first. So I'm gonna try to see how to do that. I think that's the best I'm going to do with it. Uh, hopefully that will stay on and work. And I'll let you guys know in the comments if that actually worked or not. And if it will keep it working. So then this just gets pushed back in. And now I need to put in the five screws right here. Those are put together. Now we can go ahead and put the battery back in. All right, so we can go ahead and put this guy back on. Set it on just like that. And then we gotta put the screws in. All right, so now we gotta put the little side guys back on and I've I think I found it pretty simple as long as you're on the front to be able to know how to put them on. I found that if they're backwards, it's kind of difficult, so I do it this way. It's even like frontwards, it's still difficult, but at least somewhat better here. All right, so there's the controller put all back together and let's switch on to the other view and end the video. All right, so that was our teardown and cleaning of the Switch Pro Controller, and I learned a lot about how to take apart the Pro Controller, so that's good. And I'll probably have to do that again, maybe more detailed uh, when I have time, and a few months from now, probably. And so hopefully this will get used more, uh, as it's just been sitting down on the shelf, uh, as we didn't want to use it until I could take it apart a little bit and clean it. And I enjoyed taking some of these apart, so let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see taken apart, other controllers but for like current gen or last gen, as well as other consoles maybe. I've taken other consoles apart before, so I have a playlist down in the description as well, just so that it's just a group of videos rather than trying to link each one individually. And let me know down in the comments what you guys think about how easy it is to take apart the Pro Controller versus some other controllers. If you guys have seen other videos on that, I'd love to know your guys' opinion on that, as well as if you've ever taken one apart or any other console controllers or consoles, I'd love to know what you guys have been taking apart as well. Let me know down in the comments as well what you guys think about this video and like this video if you liked it, dislike if you don't, hit the subscribe button and then turn bell notification on so you get notified when we upload new videos as well as when I go live. I've been streaming on YouTube now so you'll get notified if you have the little bell icon on when I go live. There's also links down there to Castlemania games as well as Amazon. They're all affiliate links and they're marked with the word affiliate. So you guys know which ones are affiliate links and those will give kickbacks to the channel if you guys buy anything as well as 10% off at Castlevania if you guys use my promo code, which is also down in the description. So go ahead and check that out. Buying retro stuff off of there 
is really good and they do give free shipping at $50 I believe or more so go ahead and check out Castlemania. There's also links down there to Twitter and merch and Patreon and it's not too full on Patreon yet. I haven't figured out how I'm going to be doing that type of content so just if you guys subscribe to that thank you guys so much and I promise I will get to that and start posting there and, and doing some type of exclusive content on Patreon. So go ahead and check those down in the description. And thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.